Alright guys, so this is going to be some of the news that I did not cover in my Everything You Need to Know About Season 13 video. So this is going to be a lot of other news. Some of it is related to Season 13, but all of it will be related when Season 13 drops for you guys. However, some of it might change between now and then. So first up on the list, somebody asked Esarokan, will you add a second map to Phase 13? To which he said no. So Phase 13 will only be one map for anybody who's wondering if possibly they add a second one during PTS. That is a no. Next up, Esarokan said, All right, guys, I'm deeply sorry, but we will have one more scout. So probably a lot of you guys know, but Esarokan said we would not be getting any more scouts. And then we got one more in Season 13 here. And then we also will be getting one more from this information. So that should be the last one. He then went on to say, We figured out that we have some unused licenses, so we decided to use most of them during Year 4. And he also mentioned it would be a licensed scout. This next point, I believe, only affects people in Russia, Belarus, and Ukraine. And that is that the Ford trucks were renamed. They are AWMG trucks now. And the CLT 9000 is AC1610. And the Ford F750 is the TX340. And on screen are the two images of what those look like. Alright, so we'll get into a couple of other changes here. So the Warthog can now equip an autonomous winch. And obviously if you guys try this on your saves, it won't work unless you have PTS, but once Season 13 comes out, these changes will take effect. Next truck is the Tatra Phoenix. This truck can now equip a bed and a crane at the same time. Previously, it could only have the crane or the bed, not both at the same time, and you can actually fit a spare wheel in there as well. The Azov Atom had its center of gravity adjusted, and it can also now equip both a saddle low and a crane, and a saddle high and a crane at the same time. This next one actually affects quite a few trucks, but the Crocodile has a new set of tires. It used to be, this is its stock tire, the special Croc tire, and you could only get it in 39s. Now you can have it in 39s and 42s, so they added a second size to the Crocodile. This also applies to the Step 39331 Pike and it's UCD1, UCD2 tires as well. So you used to be able to only get 41s, now you can have 41s or 43s in its custom tire. This also affects the Jeep Wrangler with its OJ1 tires. So it used to only be able to have 32s, now you can have 32s or 36s. And one thing that I've noticed with these Scouts here is actually when you equip these bigger tires, they get a wider wheelbase as well. So quite a nice bonus there. Next up is the Jeep Renegade CJ7, and this one also has OJ1s. Previously you could only have 28 inch tires, now you can have 28 or 31s. And as I just previously stated, these ones also make the truck a bit wider. So another nice bonus there. And I promise guys, we're almost done. Two more. So we also have the Land Rover Defender 110, which previously had 31-inch Land Rover tires. Now you can have 32s. Sadly, 32s are the biggest you can get on this truck, so it doesn't add too much. But nice little bonus. Again, does make it wider. And lastly, we have the Land Rover Defender 90. So again, Land Rover tires, the special tires for the Land Rover. 31s or 33s, and again, they make it a little bit wider, adding stability. Could give you some more traction as well. And now we'll get into the whole list of patch notes here. So they said we get a new region, Alamadi region, a region consisting of one new map set in Kazakhstan, Central Asia, AAC 58DW, PL80450 are the two new trucks. One's a scout, one is a heavy. Then it says new add-ons or trailers, and it has the plaid float body, which is the current add-on we have on the truck, that is new. Then we have the AWMG, which is the new Fords. So it has AC1610 and TX340 trucks received new visual style. So you guys saw that earlier. Then it has vehicle improvements. The Azov Atom changed the center of gravity of the Azov Atom 67096. The combination of mini crane, saddle high and low has been configured for the Atom. Fixed conflicts between the Azov Atom and truck add-ons and trailers. So I'm not sure which trailers that applies to specifically. Tatra trucks and their add-ons change the center of gravity for the Tatra Force, which I forgot to mention. They also fixed a malfunction in the suspension of the Tatra Force. Changes were made to the Tatra Force model, so belts were added to hold the canisters of fuel. Changed the center of gravity and the physics of the Tatra winch. Not sure which one 
that is for there's four different Tatra trucks, but the ability to install a crane and sideboard bed has been implemented on the Tatra Phoenix. You guys saw that earlier. Spacer under the TAT-12 loading crane has been added permanently. Minor changes have been made to the physics of crane supports. So I'm not sure what that means exactly either. Uh, other improvements. Lighting on the roof rack has been corrected on the Navistar. The position of the cultivator wheels has been corrected. Now they are strictly on the steering knuckles. Added an automatic winch for the TUS 108 Warthog. Changed the wheel weight for the unique tires on the step bike. Added a second size for unique wheels on trucks the Jeep CJ7 Renegade, the Wrangler, Defender 90, Defender 110, the Step Crocodile, and the Step Pike. They also fixed a bug where the LP4 log loader crane and medium logging frame add-ons didn't have compatibility with each other on the Western Star 47X NF1430 truck. I tried this, still didn't work for me, so maybe they'll fix it in a later update, but you know, they're trying to get that to work. Fixed a bug with missing add-ons on the Western Star 47X NF1424. Also, I don't know which add-ons they're talking about there, so I couldn't really verify that. Fixed a bug where the guest couldn't refuel if the host were on another map. This is co-op bugs here. Fixed a bug where the client, when using another player's truck, couldn't refuel at a gas station. Fixed fire tank desynchronization when trying to transfer the water between players. Fixed a bug where the water counter of any trailer with a fire tank was not updated in real time. Fixed a bug where the settings menu couldn't be closed after clicking skip tutorial if a new save was made on top of an old one. Fixed a bug where the driver's model deformed after hitting the wall at a high speed. That must be a pretty funny one. Fixed a bug where the message about locking the trucks in the truck store didn't correspond to the reason for the refusal to purchase. Fixed incorrect rewards from the Heyday task on the Reactive Zone map. Fixed a bug where the DLC wheels on existing trucks didn't go into the Phantom mode if the player didn't have the Jack of All Treads Tire Pack DLC. Support MOZA Racing Wheels. Various fixes of Logitech Steering Wheels. Multiple crash fixes. Different collision fixes. Various visual fixes. And localization fixes. So that is the total patch notes there, guys. Hopefully you guys found a lot of information in this video. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments below or anything else you really want to say. Stay tuned. If you guys are looking for more Season 13 or just SnowRunner content in general, I will have some more videos about how to get the trucks, the different upgrade locations, all kinds of stuff like that. Obviously more SnowRunner news as it comes out. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.